But are you really making money? Is your business profitable? What's your gross profit? What's your net profit? These type of questions all small business owners should be able to answer. And in this video, I'm going to break it all down to you and help you understand what those terms mean and how important they are to your business. Hi, I'm Lauren Wellington and I'm an entrepreneur that educates people to realize their business mojo. Okay, so let's start off with profitability. And that basically just means for all the activity that you do for your business and all the expenses that you do for that you incur for your business, is there a plus sign at the beginning of that number or is it a negative sign at the beginning of that number? So if all of my sales are $1,000 and all of my expenses is $500, then that means that I am making a $500 profit. And so that means that I have a high profitability, right? Let's say all my expenses are $900 and again my revenue is $1,000 and that means that my profitability is $100. It's less than it's less than the previous example, but I'm still profitable. I'm still making money. Now let's talk about gross profit versus net profit. You have income to the business. Again, let's use $1,000. Your cost of goods sold. This is just how much, it, how much does it cost for you to actually produce your product or service? This is different than operating expenses and operating expenses are the ongoing expenses to just have the business. So let's use an example of a cookie. What are the things that are required to make the cookie? It's the ingredients, it's the tin, it's the packaging to put the cookies in once they're done, it's the labels, it's the, um, these are the things associated with the cost of goods sold for the business. The oven, the lights to have and the electricity on to operate the oven and lights to have on for the actual baking area. The baking area itself, if you have a lease or a rent for that. Um, the water to be able to run through the building for you to even have that location. Those things are considered operating expenses. If you have someone selling your cookies for you, then you could attribute their salary or their commission to cost of goods sold. For you to be the baker, for you to be the business owner, you're part of the operating expenses. So that's just a real quick delineation. So I have something I'm selling for $1,000 and my cost of goods sold is $500. That means my gross profit is $500. Then I might deduct all the operating expenses, let's say the lease and the electricity, internet, the computer system, that comes up to another $400. So I'm gonna deduct that 400 from the 500 and now I am left with a net profit of $100. Again, I have $1,000 coming in for cookie sales I subtract $500 for all the expenses related to making the cookies, which is called cost of goods sold. Then I subtract all of the expenses related to just having the business, rent, telephone, computer, internet, things of that nature. That was $400 and now I'm left with $100 of net profit. The business is profitable. It has a profitability. But I just wanted to just make it very clear. Your profitability is after it's all said and done, all of my sales, all of my income, and all of my expenses. If it's a plus, then you're profitable. If it's not a plus, then you're operating in a negative. Your gross profit is all of your sales minus all the expenses related to producing the product or the service. Your net profit is taking your gross profit and subtracting all expenses related to just having the business. Whatever's left over is your net profit or your net loss. I hope that this quick little video explains to you why you need to know if you're making a gross profit or a net profit and if your business is profitable. If you found this information helpful, please click the like button below. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below or book a free power coaching session with me. If you found this information really helpful or you know someone who needs this information, share it with someone else. 
If you like what I'm talking about and you like how I'm helping you understand more about managing your small business, then subscribe to the channel. All right, see you next time. Bye.